How? What do you think? Ask, ask, ask her. Got both my parents in my life, thankfully. My mom is very energetic, very loud, uh, likes to be funny, likes to joke, likes to mess around. A little bit. My mom has always been a, a nurse. Uh, she nursed in the hospital, now she does home health nursing. Um, my dad um, started a business, uh, I can't remember the exact year, but a while ago, probably like 12 or 13 years ago, uh, doing basketball training. And uh, he's kind of developed that into a whole gym. So now he runs a whole gym. Uh, he also does outreach programs. So them two coming together, my mom obviously being a nurse has always loved to help people. Uh, me being at the point I am in life now kind of enables me to be able to help people um, on a bigger scale. And, uh, and my parents, kinda, of course, I mean, they're. I say they're in the NFL too because that's how involved they are in my life and the things that I do. And we'll be back on the Boys and Girls Club between 12 and 1. They're supposed, we're supposed to be doing a um, thing to raise uh, funds or supplies for the uh, Bahamas. And they're going to map out a trip to fly the supplies to the Bahamas. Okay. They've helped me with thinking about ways to, hey, this group needs this. It might get to that level where I choose something specific, but for now, I just saw so many different areas of people's life that need help. Uh, I didn't want to limit myself, you know? And, uh, you know, just try to do as much as you can and help as much as you can. So we, we've known people that work at the Boys and Girls Club in Huntsville. We started thinking, how can we help the Boys and Girls Club? And uh, so we actually came up with like a curriculum, if you will. Um, so for one month, they had to like write a paragraph on who's the biggest influencer in their life. Another month was just like, keep your grades above a certain point. And my parents and I believe that, you know, you get what you work for. You know, when you, when you accomplish something in life, you should be rewarded. So the kids get rewarded with a trip up to Detroit, uh, watch the game. Also go to the Boys and Girls Club here, doing a service project while we're there for the Bahamas relief effort. I was a kid not too long ago. The world right now, the way it's going, it's just, it's a lot out there. Um, it's a lot of good, there's a whole lot of bad, it's a whole lot of rough areas, a whole lot of patches that uh, it's hard to navigate, that I still struggle to navigate. You know, you can kind of get lost. Just trying to, you know, make their lives a little bit better so they, they come up with a different mindset where it's not just all bad, it's not just all tough, it's not just all horrible, it's not just all rough patches, you know, that there's some green in there somewhere. On my mind, not much ever gets on my mind besides football and Xbox. <laughs> Uh, are you online? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay, I'm about to get on. So my brother plays overseas basketball. That's the main way we communicate. A lot of my other friends that play for NFL teams or are still in college, that's how we communicate. Well, uh, what time is it there? Uh, 21. Uh, what are you, what are you playing? Well, I just got a Apex has updates, so it's probably gonna have to be public. I mean, honestly, we catch up on a lot of life uh, that way, and uh, it's so much easier than text message, you know, hearing somebody's voice. Why y'all have practice so late? It's always so we play at 7, practice at 7. 7 p.m. every day? Yeah. I'm sure I'm doing my job. Ah! That'd be a quick. One thing that I have learned since enter entering the NFL is there are a lot of guys who typical uh, doesn't doesn't really fit the, the description of them. Um, we've got guys who who are real estate people who get very very interested in that. We've got 
guys like Romeo, very interested in music and photography. I mean, you got guy Marv, who you think he's Spanish. I mean, a lot of guys who just do normal everyday people things, just have outside interests. And uh, I'm playing straight Xbox. Uh, that's I've been playing Xbox since I was also age five, along with football. Look, I tell you, I tell you, there's nothing better than winning. Uh, any game you play with your friends in a tough situation. I mean, that thing, you will you were really think you're in a real life crisis on some of those games. Ah, no! And like I said, it just helps you connect, helps you stay connected, helps bring you together, and uh, for the most part, clears your mind off of, I mean, everybody works, you know, clears your mind off of that long day at work. Just try to, you know, cool down, relax, and get my mind ready for the next day. I've always loved scoring touchdowns, playing running back. I always knew that's what I was going to do. Well, I played running back since I was like five, I think six. I uh, started out actually as a center. That didn't last long for obvious reasons. When you, when you have a you know a slim build like I had coming up through middle school and high school, everybody you know thinks you're gonna go to defensive back, gonna go to receiver, blah, 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 blah. But I was never you know really happy playing those positions. I've always loved playing running back. I've always loved, I mean, I've always loved getting hit, as dumb as it sounds. I love going up against, you know, D-line, linebackers. I love that. I love, like I said, scoring touchdowns the most. And uh, it's just always kind of been something that's clicked for me. Barry Sanders is definitely my favorite running back of all time. Growing up, though, LaDainian and Reggie Bush were running backs of that current time that I watched. And you watch Reggie Bush and the dude looks like, a, I mean, he was a cheat code. So when I was young, I used to, you know, switch the numbers 21 and 25, 21 and 25. And uh, trying to hide myself, I thought that would be a good disguise. People wouldn't know what number I was. It didn't work. But um, just trying to, you know, then you think you could do anything, you think you could be like anybody, now I realize I was nothing like them. I was just playing running back and doing pretty good for myself, but me, I couldn't have 21, uh, which was the number I wore in college. Um, 33 is what they gave me, you know, I decided to stick with it. Um, you know, parents all bought the 33 jersey, so I'd hate to have to make them to buy another one. Uh, I was like, uh, you know, I'll just, you know, try to make my own legacy again and just create something new with a new number. Carry on five, head down at the three, fighting at the two, into the end zone, touchdown Detroit Lions! Every time I step on that field, you know, I play passionately. You know, I give 110%, and that goes back to childhood being reckless. Um, I play football just as reckless uh, still, so uh, hopefully no one can ever say that guy, hey, he didn't carry this game, he didn't try this game. I'm always going to go out there and give all I have, and uh, football-wise, that's what I remember. And then off the field, you know, they just remember everything that I've tried to establish, everything I've tried to do, the effort that I try to make put a little happiness in other people's life that I've been able to get out of my life is uh, hopefully what they remember. I am Carry On Johnson. <laughs>